Marcella and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy. And what I mean about everyday I do not mean like everyday on a daily basis but this is what I would wear if I would wear makeup. So yeah if you guys enjoying the video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit that post notification so we know right every time I make a new video. And without further ado let's hop right into the video and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys so the first product I'm going to be using is primer i have the elf hydrating primer i really like this primer honestly i haven't been using it very much or i just got this so it's been working out for me so yeah i don't use a lot of it because i don't want to my face to be you know that doesn't make sense but you know too primed so yeah i'm just going to Put this in my skin so my base of my makeup can be looking at least good and not looking all cakey and stuff. So yeah, let's move on to the next product. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be using is some foundation. This is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I am the shade Soft Ivory. And on the back it says 362, but that's like really dark and like other brands. But, you know, I got this not too long ago, but I've been using it and I really like it. So... Yeah, I really, really recommend this. And I'm just going to use a spoolie to put it on. I'm just going to take it out. And what I mean by spoolie is it has this, like, spoolie thing. I used to call it a spatula. But, you know, it's not a spatula, so... I'm just going to have apply that to my face. I don't apply a lot of this. It's actually a lot, but, you know. I, I usually apply more, but I've noticed that. It kind of looks a little bit worse. So, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to be using to blend this out is my Damp Beauty Mudder. I got it damp. And I'm just going to blend this out. And I'm going to make sure that I get every spot. Because I know some of the time it's not your shade. So you have to work with what you have. And I'm just going to try to blend this out as well as I can. Because my face is looking a little red today. I do not want that, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this up. Okay, so I'm almost done with the blending. I just have to do my forehead. I'm just gonna get it in my eyebrow. But, uh, I'm just gonna blend this out light for me honestly but like we can fix that when we're on to like the stuff that will help it look more better so yeah now i'm just blending this out even more just to make it look more decent okay so this is what it looks like with my foundation yes it looks a little pale but I can fix that, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next product. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be taking is this. I kind of rubbed it off, but you know, that's all right. It's a cover girl. I already know that because I love this stuff. It's a little twisty. It just comes out right there. This is like such a good concealer, so I definitely recommend it. And it's drugstore, so like like perfect if you want like a drugstore great concealer and you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on a concealer and stuff so what i'm going to be doing now is this different one it's a damp black one and it has a little curve which is really i guess good for stuff like this and it also has a more pointy end so i'm going to use the pointy end to kind of i guess blend out under my eye just so if I use the other one I won't like poke myself and I won't be able to get into the places where I need it actually the most Ooh, it's unfocusing it's not good but yeah and I'm spreading it around my face because like you know this goes a long way you don't want it to look a little cakey okay so the next product I'm going to be using is this Revlon Color Stay. I know this is like really cheap and really good. So for you guys out there that need some cheap drugstore stuff, you can go ahead and get it. And it's just this powder. It has a mirror. Not really. It doesn't actually. It's see through. <laughs> actually, no, it's not. It's a mirror. 
but yeah and then it comes with this little powder little thingy i do not use this i don't know why they even put these in here because like honestly no one uses it and i'm just going to be using my beauty blender to just tap it on here and just put it where the places that i put concealer which is technically like all over my base i just put it that much i'm gonna put it on my chin I guess this is light baking, not really. It's just helping where I put like concealer in the places where I usually crease. And it actually really helps. I use this a lot. And I'm just going to keep this on when we're con contouring. I say contouring. Contouring. Yeah. Next, I'm going to be doing contour. I'm going to be using my contour kit. It is Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. I don't know why, but yeah. And just a disclaimer: don't come at me if I'm doing like all this stuff wrong in the different order because I'm gonna do how I want to do it and how it helps for me. So just don't come at me. Don't send me hate comments because I don't like that stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this. If it will focus, let me focus it. And I use a lot of that and most a mm, little bit of that so that's why it looks like that so yeah so i'm going to be using this brush powder brush it doesn't it has it's a beauty pro i think that's what it says i don't know <laughs> but i got it really cheap so that's all that really matters just as long as it works and it works perfectly fine for me i'm putting more powder on what am i doing now okay Okay, so I'm going to be using this side, of course, and I'm going to be bronzing. This is not contouring, it's actually bronzing, so I need to lay this down, because, like, I'm bronzing my forehead, because usually my forehead is, like, the darkest, so I'm going to darken it back up, because that, um, it's called foundation, made it a little bit too dark. So, I, like, just bronze out my whole face, because, like, that foundation does not do well. But I like, like, the consist not the consistency, the, um, like, the way it feels, and just the way it lays on my face, so I'm just gonna keep with that, but I think I just need to get a better shade, which I am soon, so, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is highlighter, and the product I'm going to be using today is the e.l.f. highlighter. It's really blinding to me. I don't know about y'all that are all this, like, blinding crap, but I like this stuff because it's really helpful, and I think it really, like, outdoes my face. And I usually use it on my cupid's bow, the corner or the top of my nose, and on top of my cheekbones, and on my brow bone. So that's where I'm going to be using it today. So yeah. Okay, so I have my brush I'm going to be using. It's like one of those other brushes I used with my powder. And I'm going to just be holding it like this. And I'm going to put it on the places that I need it. So first I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to be putting it on my nose. See, it's already blinding, like, and I only, like, do this. So, it's really fun. Then I usually put it on my inner corner, but I'm not going to do that once I get done with my eyeshadow. So, that's really good. So, look how blinding that is. That's, like, great. So, I'm going to move on to a different brush because, like, that's not working with my... Okay, so I'm going to be using this brush and just to do on top of my cheeks. I don't know what you call them. I guess highlight bones. <laughs> See, like, what the heck? I totally recommend this. Like, not even a hesitation. I'm, like, so obsessed with this. I've had this for a long time, and it's still, like, fully. It might be a little cracked and stuff and almost the lid's coming off, but it's definitely, like it's more resourceful and if you want to keep it more and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it this was only like three dollars five dollars so it's was only like two dollars so like go to your local store or just walmart and you can definitely get this and it's super cheap okay so i'm going to be using the ulta like max little thingy i got this for christmas and honestly it's like it's a 
affordable and it's only like $25 on Christmas so like you know go to Ulta and snatch you if it's still there but yeah I'm just going to be using this I'm going to show you what shades I'm using because girl you here's some pigment shades so I definitely recommend okay so next I'm going to be taking my elf primer once again and I'm going to be applying it on my lids and I'm just going to put it above right here and then I'm just going to apply it Ooh. apply it really good and then I'm just going to go on the shadows so I'm more going for a more sunsetty, smoky eye, and kind of a cut crease. Not really. I'm just going to take a lighter shade and put it in my inner corner just to make it look like I did a cut crease. Because honestly, I do not know how to do cut creases and it's just not going to look good. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blending brush. And it's actually an eye crease brush, but I use it just to blend so first shade i'm going to be taking is the lightest shade which is here it's not the lightest shade but it definitely is a color that would be good for the bases i'm just going to apply this all over my lid just to make it look more natural and less red so yeah i'm just going to apply this until my eye doesn't look like it's like swollen Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to be taking a different brush. I hope that doesn't fall. I'm going to be taking the brush that came up with the palette and the sets, and I'm just going to dip it in. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my brush. But I'm just going to be taking the lightest shade of, like, orange since I'm doing a sunset. So I'm going to be taking this. It's not the lightest, but it definitely is a good start. So I'm just going to take this. It's, I'm not really going for a good shimmer. I'm more going to be going for a more matte shade, or shades, I would say. If you're still watching this, thank you so much, and I just want you to know I love you. So yes, we just said that we don't want our eyes to look swollen, but uh, yet again, we're making our eyes look red. So I'm just going to apply this really softly. Oh, I dipped into the wrong color. I'm just going to do that and just tap it. I'm just going to lightly apply this because I do not want to go too more exaggerated because that will make it look more like, like, I don't want it to look like my shirt, okay? So we're just gonna blend this. So now that that shade's done, I'm just going to be taking this shade. It's a little bit more darker orange, and I'm just going to dip this in here and put it more on the crease than I did on the other one. Now I'm touching the crease. And I'm making it darker. I'm definitely going up for a more lighter hand because I do not want to be going and then making it worse than it actually is supposed to be. I'm more doing a more rounded look than a more out look. And I'm trying to keep this more white than the other. I'm going to put down the palettes and just blend, blend, blend. Now that that's done, I'm just going to be taking the one I used for like right here and right here, you know, all over. I'm going to be taking this white shimmer kind of thing. And then I'm also going to be taking a white. I'm just going to dip those two together. It's 
it to the ceiling scooter and I'm just going to apply it to my leg. You can see that's making more cut crease. I'm definitely going more white handed. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the brush I used before, and then I'm just going to be dipping into these three shades, and then just putting that, packing it on there to make it more depth. You can talk now. I'm going to be speeding it up, so it'll just sound fine. Have you asked? So now that the eye is done, I'm going to be doing the other eye off camera, and then I will see you guys when I'm done. Oh. Okay, guys, so I'm done with the eyes finally, and this is like my fifth time taking this, so it better be good. So I'm going just to be putting on mascara and then doing my lips, and then yeah, that's really it. So yeah, let's go ahead and put on my mascara. So I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes before we do that because like. to be using the shake it and brush clump free and this stuff I really like this stuff so I'm just going to put this on this is actually like really really good as you can tell it's what the plier looks like and I don't know if you can tell it was like very dramatic like mascara, which I love dramatic because then you can hide what you did wrong on your eyelash eyes. I'm just gonna say it's not going free, so. but I definitely recommend. So I'm going to be using this just to like comb them out because they look a little glumpy. I'm trying to not get it on my eyes or my lids because that'd be a pain in the butt. Okay, so we are done with the eye look. I really like it, and I did not do eyeliner because I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I do not know how to do it, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do my lips. So first, I'm going to be using this Juice Infused Lip Oil. Again, this came from the Ulta little thingy. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to open this. Okay, so next I'm going to be using a lip liner. I know I put a liquid over. I'm going to be putting a liner over liquid, but you know, I kind of messed up there, but we're going to make it work, so yeah. Okay, so that lip liner really did nothing, but you know, just for the sake of video, I did it. And then I'm gonna use the matching lip gloss. It's called Courageous, and it's a matte lip gloss. So I love matte lip glosses. So I'm just gonna put that on. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. And make sure to comment 
down below just to be nice. And I know I didn't put setting spray on. I'm sorry for that. But, you know, I'm probably going to have to take it off in a little bit. So, what's the point of putting setting spray on? But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And I love you guys so much. And thank you so much, guys, for watching if you're at the end. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.